Alright, let's pick up here. We're beating a Tyrannosaurus Rex still. He's over there. I don't think he's gonna survive this this time. Yep, there goes his arm. I would probably get an item from that, but I again I have powerless counter. So I can't acquire items. Except that for some reason. Alright, with that gone, I can actually take the seal stone. As you can see, I have enough to actually uh, restore it. The trouble is, I won't have enough for future seal stones, so I need to fight and then we're off. And just to show you what this does, as you can see, the Aesir Guard can't see me, and he's giving me a little lift. And the flying enemies pretty much ignore me. The only time I'm actually at my most vulnerable is uh, any uh, enemy advantage. Uh, not enemy advantage, uh, in the Divinity Voids. And I had no choice, but I actually lost that one. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few dead ashes, but I really need to get a... Uh, Honeysuckle do because there are no more skeleton soldiers in the Royal Underground Path. Now, fortunately, because I have the. No, I don't want to go that way. Fortunately, that I have the base of air law, I can take my time in leaving this dungeon. This is also handy because enemies, normally some enemies will chase after you without the, uh, the seal stone, even so, uh, in this case they don't necessarily care. Let's store this. As you can see I only have 275 magic crystals now, so I have to use those wisely. Or, otherwise, be incredibly reckless and, uh, and, uh, fight any enemy that I want to and get some more magic crystals. So I think that if you do want to farm for magic crystals, I suggest there's a seal stone, I think, in Valhalla. I forgot what it was called. I know there was two, uh, Gem Blessing and Orb Blessing. One of them basically produces more, the other one just produces none, and instead replaces the gems with items. But if you have that and, uh, Spirit Control, uh, firing for gems will be pretty easy. But you have a maximum limit to what you gain in battle, and that is, uh, about 80 or so. I'm not bothering fighting. But I actually do recommend getting a lot of magic crystals, cause, uh, there's, uh, the seal stone that I used in the ancient forest, uh, Sheath Power Wrath. If you want to go in the Seraphic Gate, that is should be a really handy seal stone to use. Because what that does is, if you put that on a dais, it'll drastically reduce the enemy's, uh, the damage that an enemy will reflect. And that's pretty handy, especially with the really overpowered uh, uh, bosses there. As you can see, the flowers mean nothing. The opposite is true in here, because I need to uh, find a way to escape. Let's find any sort of 
this will take some time. Actually, to think about it, I'm just gonna, I don't, after this, I don't have enough time to actually plow through uh, Valhalla. So, instead what I did was I showed the first cutscene. And, uh, we'll show the second cutscene, uh, in another video. Should be good. I'm now content with my, uh, new seal stone. So, if you don't really- if you're getting annoyed by those pesky fights that you necessarily don't want to be in, that's the way to go. I'm just gonna shop. Let's not, uh, yeah, get some honeysuckle dew, because I'm almost out of dead ashes. Some dwarf tincture, some warrior's arcade. I'm just seeing there's, uh, down there, uh, that's what you need the rings for, but I'm still not a valued customer yet. If you sell those rings to him, and you have 900,000 uh, OTH, plus you're a valued customer, you get uh, the Solomon's ring. Or, personally, I would like to call it the Doolittle ring, because what it does is, the animals that you count, the cats, the dogs, the chickens, they can talk to you. But the Solomon's Ring is really useful if you want to perform the 7,777 trick. Okay. First cutscene here. That I'll show. I'll show the other half in the next video. I don't have enough time. Well, think about this, Frey. You can take the throne now. I didn't know gods could cry. Lord Odin. Freya, you called? Wow, she must be telepathic. And somebody forgot to close the closet. Where is Lord Odin? He has been taken. What? By whom? A human you know quite well. Lazard Valleth. Well, at least he knows her, his the name. The sorcerer in Japan? But how could that be? That's what I want to know! You know, panicking won't get me anywhere. My apologies. He stole Gunnir as well. Asgard will face great danger if we do not do something. We're maintaining equilibrium, barely, using the Dragon Orb and Brahms's soul. I'll take the Einherjar and pursue him immediately. Where is Lazard now? That might be difficult to explain. Alright, let's wrap up here. I'll see you later.